Alright, so welcome to this uh, painting tutorial or walkthrough or whatever it is of the Breaker Boss on Meyer Booth, Brute Trogoth. And here you can see him in his put together shape. And here he is in the matte black priming, uh, yeah, armor painter. And then I am hitting him up with a sandal priming, matte white from above, and yeah, from some other angles, not to make him too dark. So, and then I'm using the new Talisman Blue contrast paint to paint in all the skin. Yeah, you can see me going at it here, and here is the finished dried shape of that blue, lovely blue color. And though it is more of a single pigment kind of a contrast paint you can still see the the uh, sentinel doing some work here and then I'm shading it down with Dragon of Nightshade and here is that end result let's see what's going on after this yeah then I'm dry brushing him with Armand Blue uh, as a first kind of heavier dry brush because I really want him to pop a bit and here he starts to come together then I am um, let's see I think I went for a sybrite green just to get another kind of view on the model there on some peaks and slightly more um, highlighted like knee caps and stuff like that yep so yeah and then I, I, I went even further with more white mixed with some bright green to really just hit the top peaks. And then I painted in all the toenails and fingernails with uh, Black Legion. Then I mixed Holy White with Slaughtered Red to paint in his lips. And then I went over the Bugman's Glow to highlight it, as well as his nose there. Uh, then I used Slaughter Red Speed Paint to paint in the Breastplate on the Trogoth as well as the Auroch Rider. And then I shaded it with Targo Raid Shade. Kind of heavy. And then I went over the hair with uh, Aethermatic Blue and Waywatch and uh, Green Glaze. It's very, very subtle. Um, let's see. Yeah, uh, this is a highlight of... Let's see, I'm not sure about the color here. It's Wild Red Red, and then uh, with Troll Slayer Orange after that. Kind of a subtle dry brush on the breastplate, but still uh, it has a clear effect. Uh, yeah. And then I mixed Contrast Snake Bite Leather and Skeleton Horde to paint in the wood on the clubs, the loincloth, as well as the rider's loincloth, and possibly some other details. And here is that result. Yeah, and then what? Then I shaded it all down with Targaryen shade again. I really like that uh, that color. Uh, yeah. Then what? Then I went over the ropes, tying the breastplate together with basiliconum grey and uh, some head straps as well and uh, like the rope on the rider's weapon as well yep and then i and then i dry brushed the clubs with bleached bone as well as a loincloth And especially on the back of the patterns on the back of the loincloth, it's really clear that the dry brush has a very clear effect there. The symbols really kind of pops out. And I'm not really sure what paint this is. This is a really, really light grey brown kind of a tint to highlight the ropes. And Skeleton Horde to paint in the shamanistic symbols and bones and all that jazz. And this is just all the metal parts. And that's then done. 
and then I shaded it all down with basilicanum grey, I think. Yeah. There you have it. And then I re-layered some of it with uh, bulk and metal again. Then I mixed orc flesh with Gilman flesh uh, to paint in all the skin on the right. Then I used Gorgrunt of Fur to paint the riders uh, like pelt and the weapons shaft and some other details. And snake paint leather to paint the wrist wraps on the right. Slaughter Red mixed with whole white to paint in the to paint in the headpiece on the riders yeah, on the trogoths. Uh, yeah, not sure what it is actually. And then the horns with the skeleton horde. And then the base. Uh, yeah, nothing fancy there. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's the Trogoth done. I'm really pleased with how fast I completed him, and, and for such a fast job, the result as well. So, if you enjoyed this uh, painting tutorial, I guess, <laughs> I, um, and if you want to see like more stuff like this, then uh, feel feel free to hit me up with a like and a comment, and uh, feel free to subscribe to the page as well. Take care, and until further ado, bye.